What's up guys? Notorious here today. I'm gonna be presenting you guys a little bit of team deathmatch on Combine. We're gonna get this video started right now and I'm gonna be talking about the Peyton Manning and the Denver Broncos and whether or not he will retire after this season at the Super Bowl 50 to be exact. But anyways, I'm gonna be talking a little bit about him first and then I'm gonna make up my mind on whether he's gonna retire or not. Anyways, uh, Peyton Manning, he's had a fantastic career. It's probably one, probably going to go down as one of the greatest quarterbacks to ever play this game. And uh, his career, 65.3 completion rate, 71,940 yards, 539 touchdowns, most in the NFL, by the way, passing Brett Favre, I think, last year against the San Francisco 49ers, my team, unfortunately. And only 251 interceptions, you know, that's a pretty big margin, you know, 539 to 251 and a career passer rating of 96.5. So I usually round it up, so I'm going to go with 97, just be, just because. But yeah, this season has been a, you know, not the best season for Payman. It's probably been his worst season since his rookie year. And I think this is his worst season overall. You know, he's had to go through a new offense with Gary Kubiak. Uh, John Elway pretty much wants him, you know, out after the season. And probably into the season, you know, when I guess it's Kansas City Chiefs, man, he was just awful that game. Four interceptions, you know. That's when you know he need you know, he was kinda hurt and they started Brock Osweiler and I think they had lost the game against the Chiefs. So yeah, that was not a really good game for Peyton Manning, <laughs> if I do say so myself. But you know, I guess the Patriots he had an all right game, two touchdowns and one hundred and seventy six yards and you know, Denver's defense did show up in that game against Tom Brady, so you know, it was a good win. But yeah, they gotta play the tough Carolina Panthers, and we shall see where that goes. And I'm not gonna give you my Super Bowl prediction yet. I think you guys know where I'm gonna go at, but so I'll just reveal that later on this week before the Super Bowl. And anyways, I'm gonna be talking a little bit about man, all his accolades, everything. Just it's fantastic, man. First in passing yards, first in touchdowns, first in second in completions, man. I, this is on CBS.com, by the way. So I'll send you a link to this in the description. If you guys want to look at it, uh, tied for fourth in completion percentage, game-winning drives first since 1960. So that's pretty good. Quarterback wins tied for first with 199 wins, including playoffs as well. And you know his some of his awards that he's won: uh, 14 Pro Bowls, 17, uh, not 17, <laughs> uh, seventh time first team All Pro. Fantastic. This is a big one. Five-time MVP. Man, I'd love to be a five-time MVP. I'd love to be a one-time MVP. So that's, I think, the most in the NFL in history. So that's fantastic. And two-time Offensive Player of the Year, Super Bowl champion, Super Bowl MVP, Comeback Player of the Year after his uh, injury with Indianapolis, his neck injury is severe, and Walter Payton Man of the Year. So he's had a lot of good awards, and th these are fantastic. You know, the five-time MVP stands out with me. So yeah, but you know he's he he's had a you know rough recent years not not in terms of on the field but a little bit off the field you know with uh with Indianapolis you know the way they pretty much let, you know let him go after the 2011 season you know neck injury oh you can't do this anymore you know although they wanted Andrew Luck we know about that but you know the, the way they did it wasn't really cool in my opinion but you know when Denver picked him up you know he made him proud you know. You know, after that Super Bowl loss against uh, the Seattle Seahawks, you know, I know the offense broke uh, the record for the most points scored as a team, but ever since then, John Elway, you know, was like, we got to toughen up the defense, and he did toughen up the defense all right with T.J. Ward and DeMarcus Ware and Aqib Tlaib, so they've been a, a force to be reckoned with on offense and defense last year, but, you know, this year, Peyton Manning, you know, he had a torn plantar fascia, uh, his receivers were dropping passes, and Gary Kubiak's new offense with running the ball more often, you know, putting Peyton in the shotgun more often, so, you know, it, it didn't really fit his style, and I don't think he ever gelled in as much this year, so that's probably why he wasn't having a good season, you know, the injuries and new system and receivers dropping passes, you know, so yeah, that's my biggest reason, but let's go to the big question at hand. Will Peyton Manning retire after this season? Yes, he will, no matter what. I think if he wins or loses, I think he's going to be done just because this game, man, it takes a lot out of you, man. You you take a pounding almost every game. It, you get hit a lot in the, in football no matter what. And I think 39 years old, I don't think he wants to play anymore in the NFL, you know. If he plays another if he plays again this se next season in 2016, then he'll be 40 years old. That's a old man in the NFL. 
and I just, I just think that, you know, the pounding, the, the neck injuries, and everything he's had, I, I think he's going to be done, but I hope he wins this game, you know, but I'm a Panthers fan, so it's a, it's going to be a win-win situation, no matter what, you know, my hometown team wins, or I get Peyton Manning to retire as a champion, so yeah, I think, I think he's done, you know, to skip made an interesting point you know he might play until 43 you know Tom Brady's gonna be playing for a while but Peyton Manning's gonna be playing for a while too because it's not the same thing you know Tom Brady you know he, he has been hurt but he hasn't been beat up like Peyton Manning you know recently so I think Tom you know Tom Brady never th- talked about retirement and you know in the AFC championship game uh Peyton Manning said this is my last rodeo with Bill Belichick at the end of the game for Super Bowl 50 and I think it is his last rodeo this is gonna be his last game this is it if he wins, it's a really good thing. If he loses, then you know it's a it's a bad thing, but it's a good thing he gets to leave the game, you know, with the Super Bowl appearance. So, you know, there's no, there's no shame in losing to the Carolina Panthers, and there's no shame in losing the Super Bowl. You know, you already won a Super Bowl, so it's not like you're gonna be Dan Marino and you know be ringless. So yeah, so you should be. Uh, I think Peyton should be proud that uh, of his career, and I would be proud of it. That career, man, fantastic career. So if I do say so myself, and yeah, but Peyton, if this is your last game, you know, we, we all, almost every fan in the NFL wants to thank you for your time in the NFL and giving us a lot of good shows and a lot of good games, well, shows, games, you, you guys know what I mean, but uh, just, just performing well we, uh, every Sunday, and we love you, Peyton, and we hope the best for you in retirement, if you do retire, if this indeed is your last game in the NFL, and yeah, and I think that's everything, you guys. You know, Peyton, thank you very much for everything in your career. This is your last game. And, uh, yeah, he's going to retire pretty much after this game, no matter what, whether he wins or loses. But, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe, do whatever you want with it. Please comment on this video, you know. I encourage comments as always, and I will always reply, reply back to you guys. And uh, So, yeah, and I'll catch you guys in another video. So, bye-bye.